Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Thali Bakada. Let's take a look at the headlines first. EPF, ETF to be brought under new independent body. Vehicle import restrictions removed from next week. Two buses collide in Beruwala, six people in hospital. Heavy rains in the southwest. Scholarship exam to be held on the 15th. Danushka Gunatilaka returns back home. The government is planning to bring the Employees Provident Fund and Employees Trust Fund under a new independent body, President Ronil Vikramasinghe told Parliament today. Responding to a question by SJB MP Iran Vikramaratna on setting up an independent public execution body, the President said it would be possible. आयोजक <laughs> විශ්වාසය ගොඩනැගීමට තමයි අපි ක්‍රියා කළ යුත්තේ හරි බොහොම ස්තුතියි කරු ජනාධිපති අපි බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ අර්ථාග අරමුද බාරකාර අරමුද දෙකම එකට එකතු කළා ස්වාධීන මණ්ඩලයක් යටතේ ඒ වැඩ කටයුතු ගෙනියන්නේ ඉතින් කැමති නම් මන්ත්‍රීතුමාටත් සජ්ජවී නායකයාටත් සහභාගී වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒ ගැන සාකච්ඡා කරන්න අපේ සීම බලා පිට ඇමතුමායක ඒ ගැන කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ we want both etf and epf to be brought in the question is whether other independent uh, funds also should come into it so yeah, i think you all can we can discuss that and go ahead and bring it early i also want to do that because that will be the most powerful fund in sri lanka other is whether we should allow their money we are only giving it out now uh, to the government now investments should we allow part of that money to be invested abroad Minister of State for Finance Shehan Sem Singh stated that some vehicle import restrictions are expected to be eased in the coming week. The Minister of State said that other vehicle restrictions will be removed except for HS code 304. Six individuals including the operator of the private bus sustained injuries as a result of a head-on collision between a bus and road from Kathiragama to Colombo and a luxury private bus travelling from Colombo to Gaul. This incident occurred on the Gaul Colombo main road within the vicinity of the Polkatwa area near the Beerwala police station. The injured have been admitted to the hospital for treatment, the Beerwala police said. The southwestern regions of the island will have persistent rain while the western Sabaragamo south northwest provinces Kandy and Nuwara Elia districts can expect occasional rain or thunder showers with heavy rainfall in some western Sabaragamo and southern areas the Uwa eastern provinces Polonnaruwa and Mulatiu districts will experience scattered showers or thunder showers in the evening or night දිවිනේ අද දිනේ මේ නිතිදි කොටසේ වැසිතත්තේ තවදුරටත් පවතිනවා මේ අනුව බස්නාහිර සබරගමු දකුණු මධ්‍යම සහ වයබෝගේ පළාත්වල කඩින් කඩ වැසිතත්තයන් නිර්මාණය වෙනවා සමහර අවස්ථාවල සූර්ය ලෝකයේ වැටෙන අවස්ථාත් තියෙනවා මේ පළාත් වලින් තරමක තද වැසි අපි අපේක්ෂා කරන්නේ බස්නාහිර සබරගමු මධ්‍යම සහ දකුණු වගේ පළාත්වල සමහර ස්ථාන වලට මිලිමීටර් 75 ඉක්මන වර්ෂාපතන ලැබීමේ හැකියාව කොත් තියෙනවා the fifth grade scholarship exam is scheduled for the 15th of this month as announced by the examination department candidate documents have been sent to principals via email and those who haven't received them can access them on the examination department's website sri lankan cricketer danushka gunatilaka says he will be taking legal action against the state in australia to recover his legal fees after a sydney court found him not guilty in a rape case Gunatilaka who returned to Sri Lanka yesterday also refused to comment when asked who the foreign woman accompanying him back home was the cricketer said that he hopes to resume playing cricket and was unaware of any conditions being placed by the authorities for him to get back into the national team this was the daily mirror news roundup you were with me thaliba khada for more information visit our website www.dailymirror.lk Thank you.